the brand new M3 MacBook Pro is here. With the most advanced chip yet, a brand new finish and a host of other improvements, we had to get our hands on one to see what upgrading could mean for creative workflows. The exact model we have here is the Space Black 14-inch M3 Pro. With 12-core CPU and 18-core GPU, they put it somewhere near the middle of the new lineup, between the base M3 and the top-end M3 Max. So let's see what it's all about. Starting off with the most striking change in appearance, Space Black is a new colour option just for M3 Pro and Max. It's more of a very dark grey than black, but it looks great, and I imagine it will be very popular, particularly with those like graphic designers who want to present a cutting edge image in client meetings. To keep it looking good, the anodized aluminium casing is specially designed to resist fingerprints. After a couple of days of completely normal handling, it held up remarkably well, and the black MagSafe cable completes the look. Other than that, the chassis here remains much the same as the M1 and M2, which, if you saw our review, I'm a big fan of. It feels sturdy yet slim, perfect for throwing in a bag and carrying between locations on a photo or video shoot. And you needn't worry about packing all sorts of hubs and adapters. With all the same ports as the M2, this design feels tailor-made for creative work and helps keep your work area clutter-free. Even though the shell has stayed the same, the screen has had a slight upgrade. It still provides the extreme dynamic range contrast ratio for those working with HDR photos and video, but SDR content can now be viewed 20% brighter, which will be great for those needing a clear view of tone and colour for grading content on the move, outdoors, or in a bright office like ours. Both also still get the 120Hz ProMotion refresh rate for super smooth interfaces and animations, so the deciding factors between the 14 and 16 inch screen size are really just portability against real estate for more intricate interfaces like motion design or 3D modelling. And that's if you aren't connected to an external display, of which the M3 Pro supports too. The main improvements this time round are inside with the M3 family bringing performance boosts across the board on a power-saving, battery-prolonging 3 nanometer chip. Before we get into some specific processor-intensive workflows, we ran Cinebench R24 on our M3 Pro if you'd like to weigh up the results against your own machine. These are a step up from comparable M1 and M2 devices as expected. But the biggest leap is still from Intel to Apple Silicon. Those who've put off upgrading since before the M1 can expect to see photo and video editing tasks performed around three times faster, and an even bigger difference on GPU intensive tasks like 3D rendering. But enough about the numbers, let's see how it actually handles. While most day to day illustration tasks won't stretch the power of the M3 chip in the slightest, coming from an Intel, it's interesting to see the little changes like Illustrator previewing the full appearance of complex objects as they're moved in real time, with no lag for them to arrive when they're released. I also like to test out an Illustrator file loaded with vector texture brushes, gradients, and fiddly little shapes. As with the Mac Studio we reviewed recently, the M3 almost made me forget that these are things I sometimes need to keep in check, meaning the upgrade isn't just faster, but should result in better, more interesting work. As for hands-on drawing tools, a large Photoshop canvas with dozens of layers of realistic texture brushes remains just as responsive as this sort of work requires. It's the same with video. Editing in 4K just isn't an issue anymore. Previews and playback are instant, even with 4 or 16 ProRes clips playing at once. But one area that can always be improved is rendering time. The M3 Pro exported a 1 minute 4K timeline in just 30 seconds. This is the sort of speed which over the ingest and delivery of a few larger projects will add up to a very noticeable, very welcome time saving. One of the most interesting headlines for this generation is the introduction of hardware accelerated ray tracing to improve rendering speeds of graphic content. So I've been excited to open up my After Effects test project, which is full of effects that tend to slow a project down, like 3D cameras and lights, blurs, glows, grains, fractal noise, particle world, and high-res raster textures. On the M3 Pro, the playhead scrolls about and the preview keeps up very easily, meaning there's actually headroom for including even more advanced features and techniques. And again, an export time of 7 minutes 30 seconds is game-changing for a project that's taken many times longer in the past. Because every bit of processor power matters here, motion graphics feels like an area where the new technology built into the M3 comes into its own, no matter what you're upgrading from. Much like with our Mac Studio review, it felt like I needed to branch out of my comfort zone into 3D to push the limits of the processor here. The difference to older models is immediately clear when handling more complex scenes. Preview movement is super smooth, making modelling so much easier, and a fully textured sample scene with 200,000 objects and millions of faces and vertices exported to PNG in just 15 minutes. With 3D being so demanding on the GPU, this is another field where upgrading even from a recent MacBook Pro could make a big difference, and it's worth remembering that the specs of the M3 Max are even more impressive than the Pro. The M3 MacBook Pro means business. 
Sticking with a shape that works, there are only a few features that outwardly set it apart from its predecessors. But yet again, the upgrade in speed will make it extremely appealing to all manner of creative workers who want to spend more time making better content and less time waiting for the processor to catch up. Whether an M3 MacBook Pro is right for you might come down to what you're upgrading from. If you're using an older machine or you have an increasingly demanding workflow that regularly feels like it could use a boost, then the M3 Pro or even M3 Max might have arrived just in time. Check out our website for all the options. And if you do decide to upgrade, we offer a trade-in service to make the switchover process as secure, cost-effective and eco-friendly as possible. So whichever new MacBook Pro you're interested in, let us know and we'll be happy to help.